Hey guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, I'm super excited. I mean like, I always get super excited this time of the year because it's the holiday. And I'm gonna be sharing with you my amazing, delicious, yummy, whole roast chicken recipe. Yes, I know many of us have never roasted a full bird, I mean chicken, because we're scared how will it look you know we're used to just frying different parts and all of that but relax in this video i'm going to hold you by the hand and show you step by step method of how to hold did i say hold <laughs> or how to roast the full chicken in such a way that it comes out beautiful and so delicious and it's going to look so magnificent on your christmas table guys this is the video you've been asking for now you have it and the only things I want is that you give this video a thumbs up and of course share this video with your friends and your family. If you're yet to subscribe, hit that button now. So without further ado and without any more talking, let's jump right into this. For our roast chicken, we're going to need the following ingredients. We're going to need garlic, lemon, paprika powder, some seasoning powder, butter, onion powder, some bay leaf. This is ginger powder. We need black pepper, sage. Okay, I've got the um, dry sage here. Some oil, dried thyme. And then we're going to be roasting it with some vegetables. For my vegetables, I'm using potatoes, carrots, green red bell pepper some onions and of course the star of this dish um chicken did i mention butter well we're going to be using butter if um, i haven't mentioned it and of course this chicken so let's get started so guys the first thing we're going to do is to make our spice rub okay now to do that i'm going to add in some ginger powder okay this is ginger powder right here We've got some black pepper, some seasoning powder. You know what guys, any seasoning that you like, your preferred seasoning, please go ahead and add it. These are the seasonings that I like to use and they make a really fantastic tasty roast chicken. This is onion powder. My crushed chilies go in, add as much or as little as you want, depends on how much you like your heat okay i'm adding some ground sage sage and chicken is such a perfect combination okay so that's it i'm also going to be adding some oil that i can make a nice spice rub okay so giving everything a good mix clearly i need more oil here so that i can make a nice paste This is perfect. Great. So I'm just going to set this aside and bring my chicken. Now, first thing you need to know when you're making your roast chicken, okay, your bird, your chicken, whatever it is you're roasting must be dry. Everywhere. Inside, outside, you must make sure it is very dry. So once you're sure that your chicken is well dry, then we can proceed so now once this is done you're going to take your butter now look at the texture of the butter it's really really soft this is salted butter that i left um, at room temperature you want it really soft okay i'm going to take some of this butter and put it into my chicken you can see the skin i'm just going to separate the skin just like this so you can see i've separated the skin right then i'm going to rub in the butter this is going to keep it moist and of course very very flavorful
rice everywhere here has butter. We've tried to put in the butter everywhere. Good. So now that this is done, you're going to take this. Your spice mix that you've done. And get it all over this chicken. Everywhere. Be very generous. Okay. You want your chicken nice and flavorful. So take your time. Trust me, this is the very, very messy part of this chicken, but the taste is nowhere near messy. So don't be afraid to get in there, get your hands all messy, get the spice rub all over the chicken, okay? So it looks like this. You can see everywhere. I haven't spared this chicken at all. Everywhere has been properly seasoned, okay? So I'm just going to leave this and allow this to marinate for at least two hours while I go ahead to prepare the vegetables. If you can leave it to marinate overnight, even better, okay? Alright, I'm just going to clear up and I'll be right back. So for my vegetables, I like to cut my, my um, potatoes into quarters, so just cut it. And then I cut it this way, so I just quarter them like this. Okay. Put them into a bowl. Now I have my carrots here, they've been peeled, and then I'm just going to chop them like that. Put them in here. I still have my onions. I love to use onions because it flavors the chicken and the vegetables. So I'm just gonna quarter it like this. Then put it in here. And I have some bell peppers as well. So to my vegetables, I'm going to add some cooking oil. This will help it roast nicely. I'm going to be adding some paprika powder. Black pepper. Some thyme, dried thyme. Some chili to give us some heat. Seasoning powder, of course, to season the vegetables. And finally, a bit of salt. I'm going to give everything a good mix. So not only is our chicken flavorful, the vegetables are also very, very flavorful. This looks good, guys. Does it nuts? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside till we're ready to cook the chicken. So two hours later, it's time for us to put our chicken in the oven, which has been preheated. So these are my veggies. It has been sitting, well marinated, 
you know, in all those lovely spices. So I'm just gonna set this aside and bring in the chicken that has been sitting nicely. Okay. So before we put um, our chicken on our bed of vegetables, I'm going to stuff. I'm going to stuff the chicken with some lemon. This is going to give it lots of nice flavor. So just put it in. I'm also going to put in um, garlic, a head of garlic which I've cut into two. This is also going to flavor it very nicely. So just put it in. And I've got bay leaf as well. This is going to also flavor the chicken as it roasts. So now, the final step is I'm going to tie the legs together. This will make it cook evenly. This is messy, but it makes it look good. And as a final step before I cook this, I always like to, if you notice, I didn't put salt at all, I just used some seasoning powder. I like to use some sea salt, you know, just sprinkle it all over it, inside, everywhere. It will make the skin nice, crispy and, you know, salty. Not salty in a bad way, but it will give you that nice, salty taste. I'm just gonna turn it and do the same. Perfect. I'm gonna grab my chicken now and then lay it on this bird. And the final step is to tuck the wings to the back so that it does not burn. And this baby is ready to go into a preheated oven for at least an hour and 15 minutes. It could be more, but not less than And after about an hour and 30 minutes, our roast chicken is all done. Guys, is this beautiful? Oh, what look at this so when I got it out of the oven I put this on this platter and I ring the vegetables around it I think this makes for a beautiful presentation and also you know you can take some potatoes some vegetables and then eat with your chicken this is a complete meal on its own guys Look at this, so lovely. Look, juicy, nice, tender. Ah, oh. oh. mm. 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 This is amazing. Lovely, guys. But one thing you should know do not cut into your chicken immediately, it comes out of the oven. Leave it, let it rest so that the juices can circulate, okay? This is so good. And you can see it is still moist. You can see how lovely moist. Mm. Even the skin is so nice and delicious. This is good, guys. And you see, guys, it wasn't so difficult after all, right? Very easy, and all you need to do is to follow my step-by-step -step method and your chicken will come out looking as beautiful and as juicy as this one, okay? It's super easy and I know you are going to be so, so happy and everyone around you is going to be super thrilled. It's the holiday after all. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification icon as well. Till I see you in another recipe video, take care and keep eating good food. Bye.